Hello class, welcome to today's session. Uh, today I'm going to teach you about salvation and how monsters are the secret evil to the universe. In all reality, this lady Karen is absolutely batshit insane and whatever she says is so bizarre that I love this video. I love this video with the bottom of my heart. And I thought we would go through this classic together to find out what makes Karen's mind tick. Look at your M closely. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. Alright, that was a lot of information to take in at once. If you have a weak heart or can't handle the truth, please leave my classroom right now because those fucking lines do not touch. You know what this means? You know what this means, huh? It, it doesn't mean much. I can't think of anything other than they just didn't want the design to touch. So you go into Hebrew. The letter Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Hold the phone, Chief. I see at least two other symbols there that have short tops, long tails. Myth busted. Short top, long tail. You could have here in Hebrew 666 on the can. But my interest is the word monster. What do you see in the O? A line going straight downwards. Nothing much. There's a cross. Ooh, a perpendicular line? God damn, I've never seen it before. What a genius. Okay. What has Christ got to do with an energy drink, let alone the name Monster? So I thought, well, maybe this is a Christian company then. If your design has a perpendicular cross in it, by default, you're a Christian company. There's no debating it. No debating. BFC at the bottom of the can. Do you know what that stands for? That's the F word. Whoa, hold the phone. I catch you slip up like that one more time. I'm sending you to detention for four days. They can. In fact, they write it on the side of the can, so I know that's the F word. Okay. Now, do you know what a MILF is? Yes. All right, Karen, how do you know what a MILF is? Let me see your search history. I want to see how Christian you really are. You're probably just a heathen in disguise. Get that filth out of here. That's on the box. Milfs, dig it, and you will too. This is not a Christian company at all. So why would they have put a cross on the can? Here is the message. I'll take things that make no sense for 500, Alex. Antichrist. 666 in Hebrew. And then the Bible talks about the beast. I came here to learn about why Monster was evil. I didn't come here for Bible spoilers. I didn't get to that part yet. I'm still on like part one. You just spoiled part two for me, all right? This real fucked up, lady. In Revelation, and look at Monster's ad. This is their state. You see these M's everywhere. I honestly can't think of that many places outside of a Walmart clothing section or a gas station that has Monster logos smeared across the walls. Hats, t-shirts, bumper stickers. Is there another agenda here? Other than to make you buy monsters, I, I can't think of any underlying sinister plans here. If God can use people in product, so can Satan. Ooh, you, you tell him, Karen, because we all know God wants you to drink Mountain Dew Kickstart instead, blueberry pomegranate flavor, instead of this filthy heathen monsters. And look at it this way. Even if the M was not the issue, you cannot deny that that is a cross. Well, you could deny that does not look like a cross. I don't remember the cross having a little loop underneath it. Unless the Vatican plans on dropping a brand new design for the cross. Like, here's the cross too. And what is witchcraft when the cross goes upside down? Jesus, Karen, there are kids around. I'm actually surprised she didn't burst into flames the moment she flipped that can upside down. Also, who the fuck drinks a monster like this? No, who drinks any can like that? If you drink a can like that, you're just trying to drown yourself. That's not even drinking. That's attempt at suicide. Bottoms up. And the devil laughs. The devil has to be the biggest virgin loser if he gets his rocks off by watching people drink monsters. Something to think about. Wow. This is how clever Satan is and how he gets into the Christian home and a Christian's life and it breaks God's heart. With that being said, this message has been provided by Mountain Dew. Jesus said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. That's awful. I've never even seen that. Got him. Soul has been saved. Honestly, the person holding the camera sounds also very uninterested in this conversation. Like, she gave a response that what you say to someone when you basically want to say nicely, 
Um, thank you for talking to me. Uh, go away. Overall, the message of this story is that the devil wants you to buy monsters. And if that sounds absolutely insane, it's because it is.